Let's build that simple golf swing. Now the golf swing is really made up of three different areas. We have a rotation, which is the back and forth around the body. We have a weight shift, which is a shift to the right and a shift to the left in our follow through. Every single good golfer does both of those things. And then the third piece we have is an up and down. We have to lower into the ground and then push into the ground to really leverage the ground and get a lot of speed. Now, great golfers do all three of these very well. If you watch guys on the PGA Tour, they have these beautiful swings. What it's saying is that they have a perfect blend of rotation, weight shift, and vertical or up and down in the swing. And I have a very easy way, just follow these steps, do these drills, and you can build that same thing into your, your swing and make the golf swing a lot more simple. Okay, so the first piece is rotation. And we can think of this as just being level with the ground, letting our shoulders go ahead and rotate. This is what I call the power turn in the top speed golf system. That's the rotation back and the rotation through. But I'm gonna break it down even simpler than that. Let's grab a golf club and put it across our shoulders here. And what I want you to do is just stand straight up and down, have this club move parallel with the ground. And if you can imagine a, a golf ball in front of me, I'm gonna get this, this butt or the, the head of the club pointing to the right of that golf ball. Now in order to do that, I have to use my legs a little bit. I have to let my hips start to rotate. I like let my buckle, belt buckle go back. And then I let my shoulders go back from there. And everybody should be able to, as long as you use your hips and legs, to get that club pointing to the right. If there's a golf ball in front of you or imagine a line straight in front of me, I should be able to get that club pointing to the right of that. If you're not very flexible, loosen up that left leg to get that rotation to the right. Now from there, go ahead and let your body turn all the way around and get this butt into the club pointing past that straight line and as far into the finish as you can. Now again, if I let my right foot swivel around, if I let my legs and my hips come around, everybody should be able to get past this line. Now, depending on your flexibility, you may be able to go farther or shorter past that line, but make sure that foot swivels around. If I keep that foot down, I'm not gonna be able to go very far. That's what I find is the number one mistake with this. Players are too leg locked, they're keeping their legs too still, and they're not able to rotate in the backswing, they're not able to rotate in the follow through, and it kills your distance and it kills the fluidity of your swing. So let's go ahead and do 20 reps going past that line on the back swing, 20 reps going past that line in the forward swing, and we're really gonna get the rotation piece of the golf swing. Now from there, we're gonna tilt this forward. The only difference between this, which would be kind of more of a baseball swing, swinging level with the ground, and a golf swing, is that instead of being level with the ground, we're gonna go ahead and hinge from our hips and do the exact same thing. So instead of turning level, now I'm gonna hinge from my hips and you'll see that everything is pointing down to the ground. Imagine this like a giant plane of glass, kind of like the Hogan plane of glass that, that, that's pretty famous. I'm gonna swing on that plane of glass with my hips and shoulders on the back swing and the follow through. Now as I come into the follow through, I'm gonna find that I can only get so far until I have to come up, stand up out of my posture and let my body rotate all the way around. Let's do another 20 reps just hinging forward and doing the exact same thing. So again, I'm building this simple, simple golf swing and I'm not coming to my full finish as I'm doing this. So I'm just going back and forth on that plane of glass, rotating as far as I can. I find most players, again, don't use enough legs and they can't get very much rotation. But do 20 reps, getting used to going back and through and building that rotation while you're in your posture. And then we'll build on this with the next piece in the next, uh, the next drill here. Okay, so step number three, we have to add the weight shift to this. Again, put that club across your shoulders. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in our posture. I want you to go ahead and put your feet together. Now as you make your back swing or you swing in your posture or you rotate in your posture, I want you to go ahead and step forward. So as I do my backward swing of the golf swing, I'm gonna step forward and then as I make my forward swing, I'm gonna come all the way around to my good full finish. Now what this forces us to do is get a weight shift to the right and the left. Remember, I talked about the golf swing being rotation, which we did in the first two drills. It's a weight shift and it's a vertical. Now we're onto the weight shift. So with my feet close together, as soon as I take a step forward, my left foot comes off the ground. Well, where is all my weight? My weight has to be on my right foot because it's the only one touching the ground. So that ensures that my weight is transferred to the right in my backswing. So as I'm making my backswing, my left foot is in the air starting to step forward. As I make my forward swing, now my weight has to shift to this front foot in order to be able to finish on this front leg in the follow through. So you'll notice again, my right toe is barely touching the ground. The incorrect way to do this, there's two different ways. Number one would be go to the top of the back swing and then try to step and come forward at the same time. That's not the right way. I wanna make this step as soon as my back swing starts. 
So I'm stepping, as soon as I start to move, I'm stepping forward. If I wait till the top of the backswing and then try to step and turn in the downswing, there's just not enough time. I'm all out of whack with the weight shift. So the step forward has to happen as soon as I start to going. Number two, if I do the step forward correct, but then as I finish my swing, I keep my right foot down, I'm not really gonna shift my weight the whole way. I'm kind of keeping some weight on my right side. I want you to go ahead, make that step, and then as you finish, all my weight's on my left side and my right toe is on the ground. Get another 20 reps of this. Again, if I uh, do this correctly, it looks just like this. It's a very easy drill to do. So I'm timing up that step, rotation, and my weight shift. Everything just happens naturally once we get the feel for this drill. All right, so onto the, the fourth piece here. Now we're gonna add that vertical to it. So we've got the rotation, we've got the weight shift, we're only missing one part to a great golf swing, which is the up and down. And this is how we're gonna boost our power a little bit and get that club to release out in front of the golf ball. So what I want you to do, again, put that club across your shoulders, hinge forward to where you're in your posture. We can rotate back and through. We're gonna start with our feet together, just like we did in the last drill. This time, as you step forward, I'm gonna actually bend down a little bit. So as I start to make my backswing and I step forward, I'm gonna go ahead and let my legs bend a little bit. So this would be the wrong way to do this. You see how my legs haven't bent and I'm really high. Watch my head and see how it lowers in this one. So I'm squatting down, almost like you're gonna go down to grab a rebound or something like that. The only difference is I'm rotated back as I'm doing this. So as I rotate back, now I'm squatting down. Look how my knees are gonna bend, right? So my legs are bending here as I'm loading into the ground. And then in my follow through, I'm gonna go ahead and extend, let my legs come up and my chest is nice and high. This is really critical to golf swing. A good golf swing, we're letting that lead shoulder get lower and we're letting the hands turn up and that whips the club through contact. If I don't ever get lower, if I don't ever load those legs, I'm gonna to stay too high and I'm just gonna throw my arms and hands at the golf ball. If I lower and get those legs working, now I can whip that golf club through contact. So another 20 reps. Put the club across the shoulders, step forward as we're making that backswing. And this time you're gonna load, bend the legs, and come all the way to the full finish. Again, I'll do a few more times for you so you can see what that looks like. Making sure that I step early, or I, I step forward as soon as I start my swing and I go ahead and let the lo legs load, let the legs extend, and now I've got all three pieces. We haven't worried about the hands and arms, we haven't worried about the club head yet, that all comes next. But again, rotation, I've done my weight shift, and I've done my vertical of the swing, making things a lot simpler, and now all we have to do is add the hands and arms, which is one of the easiest parts. All right, so step number five, let's add the hands and arms to this. I'm gonna let my hands and arms hang down. If I was just to do the rotation piece, you'd notice that plane of glass again, that's on an angle, I would let my arms swing on that plane of glass. All right, so they're not coming off that plane of glass. That's gonna keep me in my posture in the golf swing. That's gonna make the golf swing really easy and consistent as I do this. Now, number two, we have that weight shift. So again, I'm gonna have my hands and arms forward. As my arms swing back, I'm gonna step forward. So as my arms go back, my foot goes forward. From there, I'm gonna squat, and then I'm gonna come all the way onto my finish. So again, as my arms go back, my foot steps forward. I'm gonna squat as I do this, and then I'm gonna come all the way to my finish as that's happening. That should look something like this. That's the golf swing. That's really what's happening with your body as you're doing this, and you're building that muscle memory. You're making this automatic. 20 more reps, adding the arm swing to that on that plane of glass. Now you'll notice as my arms come to the full finish, I can only stay on that plane of glass to about here, and then my foot has to swivel on around and I have to come to my full finish. So let your arms come wherever they will naturally when you come to the full finish with this, don't worry about that. But as I go back and as I come through contact, I want them riding that plane of glass so everything stays in my posture. Now finally, we're gonna add this club. This will be really easy once we ingrain the body motions. And really the body motions are what dictate what happens with the club. When the body motions get off, that's when we really struggle hitting the ball consistently and getting the club to do what we wanna do. Where our body motions, our rotation, our vertical, our weight shifter off, we have no chance of making this club perform correctly. So now I'm gonna set up the same way I did with my drills. I'm hinging forward, putting my feet together. As I swing back, I'm gonna let my feet go forward, let that step happen, and I'm gonna sink into the ground, let my legs flex. As I come through, again, that good full finish. Another 20 reps of this. Let the club swing back, stay in my posture. Really get those legs to work. Make sure I load into the ground so I'm getting my verticals. Make sure I'm rotating back. 
and rotating through all the way. Now the club is just working through. So we've built this in this drill. Now you just want to recreate the same situation, the same feelings, simulate the same feelings whenever you're hitting a golf ball. So as I keep my feet still now, I'm going to have that weight shift to the right as I go back. I'm going to make sure I make that good full turn as I go back. As I start my downswing or as my club gets moving just a little bit back, I'm actually then having my weight shift to the left leg. So I'm going to feel like I'm on my right foot, shifting to the left foot and my legs are bending, and then I'm finishing my swing just like we did in the drills. Same sensations, it's just my feet aren't moving now. I'm having the same feeling, but my feet are staying fairly planted on the ground. Again, remember, let that right toe come all the way up when you finish your swing. Follow these drills, go through those reps, golf's gonna get a lot easier. All right, so this probably seems like a lot of steps for a simple golf swing, but what makes it simple is that these are easy to follow steps. You don't have to think about it, it's not a complicated move. You just follow these drills exactly as I described them and you're gonna be well on your way to building a very efficient golf swing and hitting some great golf shots. Now, what do we need to do from here? We talked about, and we got started on that power turn, or what I call the power turn in the top speed golf system, which is rotating on the backswing and rotating in the full finish. Now, if we just use this one video and we do this one drill, we're gonna have some good results. But, as all things, we'll get distracted, we'll start working on other things, and we'll fall away from this. What I want you to do is keep on working with this. Do these drills, but then for the next step, work on your next power turn drill. That way you can ingrain this, and it's gonna hold up day in and day out. I have an awesome power turn video for you. I'm gonna play a preview of that here in a second. Just click the card or the link down below in the description and you'll be well on your way to ingraining that power turn forever. Let's go and get started. With the correct technique, we can all hit it with really good distance without a lot of muscular effort. And it all starts out, the very first thing you have to do is get a good powerful turn to load up the body. And it's not only in golf, but in all sports we have to rotate the body. At least 90 degrees with the shoulders as you swing to the top. Preferably, we can go even a little bit past 90 to really get loaded up. That's gonna allow us to have a lot of power. So we don't just have to look at golf for this. Let's actually look at other sports. They're rotating their body, then they're coming forward. So we have to get that load. We have to get this big shoulder turn to be able to create power in the golf swing. So in this series of videos, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. That's one of the first keys to getting power, and we're all gonna get at least a 90 degree turn, if not more than that. I think you'll be surprised at what you can do. So let's go ahead and get started with the next series of videos, and I'm gonna show you how to get this big, powerful turn. All right, guys, so before we go, let's take a look at this in action with some of the top pros. Now here, we're looking at Adam Scott, and you're gonna see as he rotates to the top, good full shoulder turn. This is pretty typical of what I see with the top pros, a little past 90. Those guys are working on their flexibility, so sometimes they can get to 100 or even 110 degrees.